My, my, my. Look who finally tired themselves out. Aww. Ah, you know, it was quite entertaining watching you wander around aimlessly. <sighs> Just going around in circles. I will say there was one time you got close to the exit, but you had no idea. Isn't that just entertaining? Well, for me that is. Anyways, telling by the expression on your face. Hmm, you can see me now, can't you? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> well, if you can see me, you must be incredibly exhausted. Hmm. No, no, no. Shh. Don't even try to talk. Ah, <sighs> I mean, really. You only have so much energy left, and... You're asking the ghost if you're hallucinating? Let's say you were, and I responded, No, you're not hallucinating. Would that be the answer you wanted? Or if I said yes, would that only make you question that you are hallucinating? I mean, after all, Seeing a not quite corporeal form in front of you. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense now, would it? Hmm. <sighs> I'm glad you wandered this far in. There's no windows, so even if it gets daylight out, I can still play with you and you can still see me. Mm-hmm. You know, out of all of the souls that could have made their way here, well, let's just say, you're not too shabby to look at. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. I'll have plenty more time to... Feast my eyes on you. <sighs> but what I've been really curious about is hmm, what you feel like. <laughs> oh, am I a bit? Cold to the touch. Well, sweetheart, that's what happens when you've been dead for, gosh, a hundred, two hundred years, give or take. <sighs> it's been a while since someone around here has made the questionable choice to come alone. I can't quite show myself on camera. Can't let the people know I'm here, huh? <laughs> well, there is one exception, of course, and I think you know it. That ghost sighting footage really did numbers, I believe you put it. <laughs> Who knows, all I had to do was show an ankle. Huh. I guess life hasn't changed too much since I died. <laughs> How scandalous. But, you know, sometimes sacrifices just need to be made in order to bring the ones you love closer to you. Well, 
Maybe love isn't quite the word I should be using. You see, when the living come here, they feel a chill, a sense of terror. And what they don't know is, slowly but surely, I'm just taking peace. By piece, an itty bitty part of your life energy. And when someone is brilliant enough to go in alone, with no sense of direction, might I add, well, that's quite a feast. <laughs> And your soul just tastes delicious. <laughs> oh. When you said you'd spend 24 hours alone in a haunted mansion, was it? I mean, you were working on the title, but I think I got the gist of it. I knew I had. More than enough uninterrupted time to make my feast. Let me get a little closer, shall I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you poor, poor thing. Are you shivering? Because you feel my breath down the nape of your neck. Or perhaps it's the realization that seeing the sunlight again may not be an option. <laughs> oh, well, the answer doesn't matter. The outcome is the same after all. Well, let's say you become a ghost. Wouldn't that be interesting? Mm. Wouldn't that be worth, maybe, letting me drain you of your life force? Hmm? Oh. I kid, I kid. After all, if yours is this sweet, well, I might just have to let you come back so I can taste you over and over again. Oh, you won't fall for this again. <laughs> That's what they all say. Hmm. Only a foolish spirit would let such good prey go to waste. No, you see, there's a trick to the trade. I'll just drain you of just barely all. Enough so your mind, focusing on keeping you alive, will simply block the memory. <laughs> and then, when curiosity gets the best of you, you'll come back to find out what exactly happened in this haunted house. Hmm. And then? Well, I'll bid the feast again, and again, and again, and again. Hmm, maybe that's what makes it so sweet, knowing that you are so bound to your sense of curiosity that you'll put yourself back in danger just to remember. Only to forget. 
Well... <sighs> I've been talking long enough. Consciousness already? My, my. Well, I suppose while you're out, I can make sure you're taken care of. 